I just had a great mountain bike ride. This is the last weekend before I graduate from my uh, flight surgeon training program. I do have a few weeks after that, but this was one of the few weekends that I've had free. The other ones I've had to fly. Oh, I know, such a rough life. But it is always great to get out and do the things that I love, and one of those is mountain biking. Coming from the west, it's definitely a different experience riding through the trees this close. Um, and it's kind of hard to pick up the speed that I'm used to. Okay, it's really hard to bike through trees one-handed. I was trying to show I don't have a GoPro, but these trails are kind of fun. Through the trees. Up and over the walls. I need both trees. Part of this trail actually is right off a field from one of the runways that we use during our flight training for touch and goes. Let me tell you what, touch and goes, whew, those are hard work. My, uh, my watch that uh, tracks my activities here uh, also tracks my heart rate and it was pounding the first time that I was doing touch and goes. I did three of them my first time and holy cow. I wanna just mention a couple things. Checklists. Checklists are a massive part of aviation. We had checklists drilled into us. There were checklists that we did before we could take off. There were checklists that you do right after that you take off. There are checklists that you do throughout the flight. There are checklists that you do when you're prepared to land. There are checklists that you do once you land. And then there's the emergency checklist, the bold face. During Military flight education, you have to memorize those. You can be put on the spot at any time during the education and have to recite it word for word. There's a lot of talk that medicine needs to learn checklists, and definitely there's some things that we need to use checklists for in medicine better. And honestly, some of the timeouts that are done before surgery and needle counts throughout it are a fantastic way of reducing certain errors like leaving things in, wrong limb surgeries, wrong patient surgeries. There's definitely some good to that. I was in a rush to get out biking, and when I went for a drink, I noticed that my hydration pack tube was actually looped through the strap. So when I pulled the drink, I had to bend over to take a drink out of my, of my water low risk thing, but if something happened like that in an aircraft, the consequences could be disastrous. So there's a reason for checklists. Am I now going to make a checklist for biking of check my hydration tube? Absolutely not. Are there equivalents for aviation vital? Absolutely. Are these things that medicine is trying to learn from? Absolutely. And is that a good thing? Yes. Just had a fantastic post-ride lunch at Jeet Indian. I really wanted a burger, but then as I was looking at places, nothing really looked good, and I got distracted by Indian food yet again. It's only the second time I've eaten there this week. It is absolutely delicious. I'll call it the recovery food. That's what recovery food's all about, being delicious. And I'll tell myself to make myself feel better is there's a lot of vegetables in Indian food. Real quick, one thing that Ohio seems to do really well right now, or at least the local Dayton area, is have good monitoring of their trail conditions. It rained the other day. I wasn't really sure if it was going to be rideable uh, because the dirt here is much more clay-like, especially when wet. Didn't want to do that. 
especially since my bike also has to live with me in my uh, hotel room. But it was really easy, just typed in the name of that bike park or trail system in Facebook, and there was a group that had already monitored and had gone out two hours before I was even looking to see what the trail conditions were. So the trails were really well marked, and it's really easy to find out uh, how the current conditions are there. Uh, very impressed with that.